Welcome to our how-to tutorials for V-Ray. In this tutorial, we show you how to create simple glass using the V-Ray material. We'll also look at how to make the glass tinted or frosted. We have this water glass here in Maya, so let's start by assigning a V-Ray material to the glass. Let's call it glass material. In the real world, glass is usually transparent and somewhat glossy. By default, it does not have a diffuse color. To achieve that here, let's set the diffuse color to black, as this will eliminate color from the material. Then, make the material reflective by changing the reflection color closer to white. To make the material refractive, set the refraction color very close to white as well. Pure white makes the material fully refractive. Standard glass has an index of refraction of 1.51714. The index of refraction stands for how the material refracts the transmitted light. Air has an IOR of 1, which means it is no obstacle for light transmission. Let's set the IOR of this material to 1.517. Now, let's render. No glass material is perfectly glossy, so let's reduce the reflection glossiness a bit. Glass is not perfectly refractive in the real world either so we reduce the refraction glossiness to 0.99. Leave the Fresnel reflections enabled as they are by default. Fresnel reflections ensure proper reflection of the object based on the view angle. If you disable them, the whole object will get uniform reflections all over, making it look fake. Often glass can be tinted with color. Let's see how to achieve that. V-Ray material has an option called Fog Color. We can use this to add some tint to the glass. Change the fog color to blue. You can see now that the tint is very well pronounced. We can make the effect weaker by reducing the depth amount. By default, its value is set to 1. Since the blue color we use is very rich, let's set the depth to some higher value, in this case, 5. Now the tint is less pronounced and it shows mainly in the thicker parts of the object. Another common type of glass is frosted glass. That is a finely deformed surface of the glass so it looks blurry. We can achieve this effect easily by adjusting the refraction glossiness parameter. I'll remove the fog color and then set the refraction glossiness to 0.8. Let's reduce the reflection glossiness to 0.8 to make the reflections blurrier too. Now we see a subtle frosted effect. Feel free to further experiment with the refraction glossiness to enhance the effect. Thank you for watching this tutorial on how to make glass with V-Ray for Maya.